Yeah, so, so welcome to the Silly's Garden, folks. I'm just watching the dogs because I can see Vader hiding behind the citrus trees down there and waiting for him to do his... Yep, oh, lucky. I thought he was going to do his number ones there for a second. Anyway, you can see them from here. They look nice and lush, don't they? Well, I don't come here often, as I don't go often to the rest of the property. Have a swing around, have a look. This is what we're looking at. Okay, there's the, la um, the lake. Well, I'll call it a lake, it's a dam with a bridge and it goes all the way down there. You're looking past the olives in the foreground. Silver birches, we've got uh, locust trees, that, not locust, uh, black locust trees, that's right. And Amelia plants down the far end, but that's, you know, it's about 200 metres down the other side there. So needless to say, we're walking around everywhere. And this is the woods right in front of me, behind you. You can have a quick look. You can see all the trees around on this side there. Just to give you a perspective of where we are and what we're doing here. Now, these are the citrus trees that I planted a while ago. And we spoke about the lemon trees gone to heaven in the past because they got ring barked. We got to it too late. But I haven't come out here for a while to inspect them. And I thought, it, you know, it's about time I did. We've got some new growth coming on. This is a lime tree. You can see some new growth coming on here, over here as well. And it's been hit by leaf miner already but see that branch there it's suckering straight up to the sky it doesn't worry me that branch i'm going to cut that off so i'm not too concerned about that so that needs to be removed some of these need to be removed i don't need it to grow tall like that i want it to grow outwards so we'll talk about pruning another time but more importantly i noticed that the mandarin trees have been hit they're dropping a little bit of leaf and they're cupping up and it's not the grass because we only just cut this this was quite dry it didn't just dehydrate here as we just cut it it was already yellow but underneath it's moist you can see the moisture there and it's not the grass that's doing this but close at a close look i didn't bring my glasses but we'll go to the other one better because i haven't i know the other one's got it and i reckon this one's got it too but let's go and check this other one over here this mandarin down here this one over here folks i spotted it without my glasses and this is it here have a look and they're at it again we're looking at ants farming the scale see they just crawled up my hand there as well so they're all over me I'm new fodder for them so we're going to get rid of these ants we're going to put a tree guard around the base of this here as well let me just get rid of these ants before they crawl up my arm right but we're also going to spray that now in the past that we've spoke about uh, CGW so I've tried that um, that's a great pre preventative but it's not going to cure the problem that's already on there what we've got to do is kill these uh, sick well just dehydrate this scale off because you've got some dieback going on here as well this was a super healthy tree um, yeah my bad we don't get everywhere at once and you know we're not we love what we do but we do sometimes forget to check every single plant on the property and be it all that we've got over 500 fruit trees being citrus and fruit I don't get to every single one of them and this didn't take long to happen this was within a couple of weeks so I shouldn't have to come out here that often to inspect every tree but in this case here it looks like I have to now because who would have thought scale would have been so active at this time of the year we had the other mandarin tree in the grow pot that got infected we sprayed that and somewhat we controlled it with cgws but what i've done here is another solution this is one you can make out of your kitchen pantry and sink and what i mean by that is olive oil and dishwashing liquid so a liter of water i haven't quite filled it up i tested it out earlier but i've got a liter of water in here about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of olive oil and a few drops of dishwashing liquid it can vary on the amount of dishwashing liquid you put into it because some of them are earth friendly and they don't uh, soap up as much or blend as much or as easily as they do or the other ones do that are toxic based i should say what are you doing vader hey eh? good boy mate all right go away and car is there too so i've made a soap and soap and oil all right here we go again all right let's cue the animals all right that's <laughs> it it's your turn mate all right he's just going to torment her and annoy her until she loses her <laughs> so it's just time to spray it now folks and that's oil and soap you can make it yourself you can use if you like eco oil or another oil based insecticide they're all good in their own rights but if you don't want to spend the money on them well just use something from the kitchen pantry that you've already got olive oil and dishwashing liquid and give it a good soaking and that oil will remain on the uh, on the leaves and the branches 
and the soap should dehydrate the scale as well. So we're suffocating and dehydrating it. And obviously, I always recommend to use something that's eco-friendly, so your soap, your soap should be eco-friendly as well. Look at that, I've just chewed up 500 mils on this little tree here. So we've drenched that, I've got to do the rest of the trees as well. So your own insecticidal spray, Obviously you need the easy hand sprayer folks because that's the easiest way to apply it and you've got the swivel nozzle, we've gone through this before. You can spray upwards and you can spray downwards without having to lean over if you need to get over the top of your plants. So the easy hand sprayer in, a, in an old water bottle or drink bottle that you have, 1.2 litre or bigger, and mix in your water. So per litre of water I mix about a tablespoon of olive oil and about three or four drops of dishwashing liquid because ours is earth friendly, safe, so you need that little bit more. Normally I say two drops, but you can take it up to about four drops and it's quite safe. And that's your solution there. It becomes milky white and a little bit of soap suds on top. And that way you control your pest. Now it works on scale, it does work on scale. You may need to repeat it on a fortnightly basis. So scale, aphids, thrips, white fly, it has some great effect, but this time of the year, scale is the one that's most active. Aphids are pretty much done and dusted. But look out for other insects that may be prevailing on your plants and a nice solution to do it with. So these are available on our website and we had extended our uh, 3AW coupon code sale, folks. I know we're running it down uh, and we are going to all the garden centres. Garden World, uh, Van Looms, Oakley, I've said them before. I'm just trying to think Rivers has got it as well. So there's a lot of other good garden centres that are stocking up and interstate. And if you're not sure which store's got it, go to our website, vasilisgarden.com, click on the stockers page and scroll through to the state that you're in and look for your store near you on the page there. If there's not one there, reach out to us and we'll be sure to contact them directly ourselves. Otherwise, if you can't get to a store, our sale and special 30% off with the coupon code 3AW, which will give you a huge discount because everything's already discounted, is going to run to the end of this month and that's it. We're not going to run that um, sale again and I've said that before on other items and other sales, but this one on the 3AW is 100%. We've got to stop it because we've got to look after the garden centres. So check out your local garden centre for our products or go to our website. From Eva Silly, Maresi.